I'm Randy Vega, Cultural Affairs Director for the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts, which is the Arts Council for Baltimore City. Welcome to the new Single Carrot Theater. Isn't this a great repurposed space? We'll be hearing more about the theater a little bit later, but right now, before we discuss the Creative Baltimore Fund, I'd like to acknowledge our young group of drummers we have performing today. And let's welcome Stacy Sanders Evans, who's the executive director of Young Audiences Arts for Learning. Stacy. Thank you, Randy. Um, I'm so honored very excited that Young Audiences Arts for Learning was asked to be part of this celebration. Young Audiences musician Kevin Martin in the back there, and um, the amazing fourth and fifth graders of Liberty Elementary School only, they had less than a week to work together. And um, I am just so amazed by their potential. And the thing is, all children in our city have great potential, and the arts helps children and helps the adults surrounding them identify that potential and, and tap into it. Young Audiences Arts for Learning is the largest arts and education network in the United States. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and what people don't know is that it was founded here in Baltimore, and that we have a very deep commitment to Baltimore City children. Um, last year, uh, in Baltimore, we brought the arts into 112 of our Baltimore City schools. And we do this in partnership with the artists living in our communities, our musicians, our dancers, our poets, our visual artists, and our actors. Even Young Audience's next door neighbor, uh, Single Carrot, is on our roster. And together, last year, we brought the arts um, to uh, 38,317 students. But, you know, our vision, our vision is that all children will have the opportunity to imagine, to create, and to realize their full potential through the arts. And that is why I'm very excited about the mayor's announcement today, because thanks to her, we will have a better chance of ensuring that all students have opportunities like the ones that Harrison and Jasmine and Sierra and India and Antoine and Thomas and Ayana and Kenneth and Cameron and Aaliyah and Kalia and Justin and Wayne and Rabbi and Siasia that they had. So from the bottom of our hearts and our steel drums, we say thank you. Thank you, Stacy, and thank you, our wonderful performers from the Liberty School. Um, several years ago, the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts administered the Creative Baltimore Fund. This grant program was extremely beneficial to Baltimore's arts community. So to tell us more about the Creative Baltimore Fund 2014, please welcome our mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Weren't those students from Young Audiences wonderful? They still in here? Can we give them a round? Oh, they just left? Oh, but they have to, what did you say? They, oh, well, we can't compete with pizza, I know that. But please tell them how grateful we are, and I am, uh, for their performance and for the gift. I'm looking forward to uh, trying it out when I get back to City Hall with all the loads of extra time I have. I'll just. <laughs> I'll start playing the steel drums, but I will say that if it gets swiped, it will be swiped by my mother, who is a diehard steel drum fan, advocate, and lover. She even got a steel drum band Christmas album one year, <laughs> and she only knew how to put it on repeat. So, you know, you can imagine, like, at the fifth or sixth time. Might have, but she still loves it, and I'm happy that I have it. We'll have something to, to do together. So anyway, I digress. Thank you, Randy, for the introduction and for all of your hard work. And I want to thank all of you for being here today. Baltimore's creative community is a very important part of the fabric of our great city, from our three arts and entertainment districts to the world-class museums that we have, to the top performance venues from the artists creating in their studios to educators sharing their talents with the next generation. Baltimore's art scene is where it's at. Everybody around the country is taking notice of uh, the creative talent that we have within our city. And the art scene continues to flourish in Baltimore, and it creates a vitality that we all want. 
for our city. There's so many dedicated members of the city's cultural community, such as the staff here at Single Carrot Theater, and thank you very much for hosting us here today. They, uh, so many members that work uh, day in and day out on innovative art projects and programs uh, for residents and visitors to enjoy. And as a fervent supporter of the arts, it's my pleasure to announce today the reinstatement of the Creative Baltimore Grant Fund Grant Program. The, the Creative Baltimore Fund will have two parts. First, the Creative Baltimore Fund will award more than $200,000 to individual artists and organizations in 2014. The grant program will not only support uh, the arts organizations, but uh, individual artists can apply to win one of the grants. The Creative Baltimore Fund will award up to $10,000 to established arts organizations for general operating support. And we all, you all know how important it is to get that general, the, the operating support. So I hope that this goes a long way to support uh, some of our very vital organizations we have in the city. The general operating support grants are specifically for not-for-profit organizations that are artistically and culturally vibrant and benefit the public. And second, I'm excited to announce the newly added Mayor's Arts Award, which will give up to $5,000 to individual artists for project support. We anticipate granting five to seven Mayor's Arts Awards to individual artists and 25 to 30 awards to cultural uh, organizations. The individual awards should promote public access to the art and encourage cultural programming in our community. And one thing we have heard, I do uh, a questionnaire, a yearly questionnaire, uh, during the time we do the budget, and one thing I've heard consistently from our residents is they want more uh, art and culture, and they want more of it in their community. So I hope the, uh, the grant writers and the, you know, the, the artists uh, take, you know, listen to that uh, as they're submitting their proposals that um, we, we really, you know, it's, it's good to be wanted. And its artists are definitely wanted in, in our neighborhood. So I hope, as I said, I hope that you take that into consideration. The, as I said, the individual awards should promote public access to the arts. The winners of the Mayor's Arts Award will showcase the results of their work at a public presentation in November of 2014. With monetary support from the billboard tax, the Creative Baltimore Fund will help art, pro, uh, art programs and projects come to fruition and continue to enhance the city of Baltimore. And I'd like to thank the arts community for their patience during our budget constraints while we work to find a funding source to bring back this vital uh, grant program. The Creative Baltimore Fund will be administered by BOPA and uh, which is the Arts Council for Baltimore City, and I'm grateful uh, for your continued work and for hanging in there with us, uh, many of the members of BOPO, as, as we all knew that this is where we wanted to be. We just had to uh, figure out a way to get here. In addition, an independent panel will review the applications and choose the winners. The application is available online today. To complete the application and to obtain additional details, please visit the Baltimore uh, Promotion and the Arts website at promotionandarts.org. The deadline, very important date, the deadline is Monday, March 31st, 2014. The grant winners will be announced in May. Uh, of this year, and I encourage all Baltimore City artists and art organizations to apply for these grants. And this is something I think we will benefit from by sharing the word. I know everybody here wants to win an award, but you can share, you can spread the word as well. I think, you know, the more the merrier sometimes. And uh, so I hope you help us get the word out. I would like to thank uh, the artists and the arts organizations that we have in Baltimore for continuing to make Baltimore a wonderful place to live, to work, to play, and to create. Again, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, proposals that are, you know, the, winning, the, the winners of the proposals and uh, giving out the Mayor's Arts Award. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Mayor. As I mentioned, we're here today getting a sneak peek at the new Single Carrot Theater. The artists and leader, leaders here are amazing, and they, of course, will be eligible for a Creative Baltimore Fund grant. <laughs> um, please welcome Elliot Rao, Managing Director of Single Carrot Theater. Thanks so much, Randy. Um, 
And uh, thank you, Madam Mayor, for being here and for relaunching the Creative Baltimore Fund. As you've heard before, the, these are funds that help the bottom line, the general operating, and uh, to have this reinstated goes a long way for organizations from center stage to small organizations that are just starting and magnetizing why organizations like Single Carrot showed up here uh, eight years ago and started making work. So. Thank you all for being here. I want to welcome you to our classroom and rehearsal hall space. Um, this was a project that started about two and a half years ago, and um, only in Baltimore do uh, for-profit developers approach nonprofit organizations and say, we want to put you in our business model. And I think we can look around and see the social impacts and also the economic impacts that arts have in this great city. So this is one of many shining stars all over Baltimore City. Um, I want to again thank BOPA for being here, calling us up and, and asking us if we could play host, and for the press corps for coming and getting a sneak peek. We have some very exciting events here at Single Carrot. Uh, we are going to be having our grand opening. That's going to be Friday, January 24th, right here. Um, and something I want to invite everybody to is our free community open house that's going to be taking place right here on Saturday, February 1st, from 11 AM to 4 PM. We're going to have free family-friendly activities, arts and crafts projects. We're going to throw our doors open and connect with not just the residents here in Remington, but but all of central Baltimore. So if you have anybody that might be interested in a backstage tour, a community art project, or making a brown paper bag puppet with me, I encourage you to come down on Saturday, February 1st. Um, Single Carrot would not be able to exist in a building like this and grow from an idea in a classroom 2,000 miles away without general operating support. And to have the city come back and say it's, it's central to them, it's central to the growing cultural class and the cultural community here uh, just makes us so happy and thrilled to be here and looking around and having four walls and a roof to call home, not just for next season, but for 19 seasons in the future. To be able to throw our doors open and connect with all the residents around here is priceless. So I, I just want everybody to enjoy a sneak peek. Um, if you are interested in going on a tour, I'll be giving guided tours after this. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, Jessica Garrett, our PR director, is in the back. Um, we would love to invite you back for grand opening weekend as well as getting a sneak peek. Um, we are thrilled to be here to have partners like Young Audiences for Arts and Learning next door. Um, the synergy is going to just echo and radiate throughout this building. And you're going to come back and have a wonderful restaurant bar experience with a Woodbury Kitchen restaurant, Parts and Labor, that's opening springtime. So all sorts of great activity happening here and watching uh, you know, central Baltimore really evolve and bringing feet to the street and opening doors and working with all these wonderful arts organizations and entrepreneurs to see what happens when we all get on board together. I want to thank you all again for being here. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We did get you a gift. It's a little smaller, but it is a carrot. So, um, and that, that also is a lifetime pass. You just wear that at single carrot, Madam Mayor, and you're in for free, all right? Uh, lovely. Um, again, thank you all so much. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to find a carrot. They're also donning those lovely pins. So um, thank you all for being here. And I'm going to turn it back over to Randy and Bopa. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Elliot. Oh, those, um, those carrots, those are highly prized. <laughs> um, as a reminder, just for those of you who are interested, the applications for the Creative Baltimore Fund are available online today. So you can go right online and, um, and get a copy for yourself. You can visit our website, www.promotionandarts.org, and you can complete, can complete the application online. The deadline, as the mayor said, is Monday, March 31st. So we expect to see lots and lots of applications coming in. Thank you so much. We'll be available for questions if you have any. We'd like to invite you to stay with us for a little while, take a tour of the theater. We have lunch um, for those of you who can stay. And uh, we're looking forward to a great spring and summer and winter um, here in Baltimore. Thanks so much for coming today. Thank you.